The Aztecs used weapons for warfare and conquests. Their weapons were designed for close quarter combat, and each weapon was unique. They used a variety of weapons made from materials such as wood, obsidian, and copper. In this video, we will see the five Aztec weapons that played an important role in their period. The Macuahuitl. The Macuahuitl is a wooden weapon used by the Aztecs in combat. It's not technically a sword or a club, but it's similar to a European broadsword. The word Macuahuitl is a Nahua term that means hand stick or wood. The Macuahuitl is a wooden staff that's shaped like a cricket bat, but has sharp cutting edges. It's made of wood with obsidian blades embedded along the edges. Obsidian, the material used for the blades, is capable of producing an edge sharper than high quality steel razor blades. The Macuahuitl was a standard close combat weapon. Its use as a weapon is attested from the first millennium CE. By the time of the Spanish conquest, the Macuahuitl were widely distributed in Mesoamerica, capable of inflicting serious lacerations from the rows of obsidian blades embedded in its sides. It was so powerful that some accounts claim that even Christopher Columbus was so impressed with its strength that he brought one back to Spain for display and testing. The Tlahuitoli. Tlahuitoli is the name of a five-foot bow used by the Aztecs. It was a solid, one-piece recursive bow. It was made from the wood of the strong tepozan tree. The drawstrings of the bow were made from dried and thinned animal sinews, and the arrows were tipped with flint, bone, or obsidian. The Aztecs were very skilled in using the Tlahuitoli, and could reach an object at a distance of 450 feet or even more. The arrows, known as Yao Mime, were pointed with flint, bone, or obsidian, and kept in a quiver, mixiquipili. The Aztecs designed their weapons to hurt the enemy so they could be captured, not killed. Aztec warriors, also known as the Mexica, were highly skilled and well-trained in both individual and group combat. The Tematlatl. The Tematlatl was a type of sling used by the Aztec warriors as a ranged projectile weapon. Tematlatl is a Nahuatl word that translates to a sling for hurling stones. It was used by the Aztecs to throw stones at their opponents. It was made from natural fibers, allowing the Aztecs to engage their foes from a long distance. The Tematlatl was one of the most effective weapons used against the Spanish conquerors. This weapon was part of the diverse arsenal of the Aztecs. The Atlatl. Atlatl was indeed a significant weapon in Aztec armor. It was a special spear thrower used by the Aztecs to throw their spears with more force, speed, and accuracy. When thrown with an atlatl, a spear could pierce the target's body, going through leather or chainmail with ease. The design of the atlatl was such that it gave Aztec warriors a solid grip on the spear thrower while allowing them to wield it for maximum impact. Typically, an atlatl was as long as the arm of the thrower. It had a hook at one end in which the spear was stuck before the throw. At the other end of its length was the grip, usually a two-fingered grip through two holes with which the thrower grasped the atlatl and made the throwing movement. In warfare, Aztec warriors typically preferred close combat with enemies. However, they would start the battle by confounding the enemy with a barrage of arrows and spears thrown with the help of an atlatl. The impact of this attack seriously paralyzed the enemy. Aztecs usually used intricate symbols and extensive decorations on their atlatls, particularly those used by Aztec royalty and nobility. For instance, an Aztec atlatl sent back by Hernan Cortes to the court of the Spanish king was adorned with gold, and despite being highly decorated, was still functional. The gilded carving on this atlatl probably depicts the Aztec god Huitzilopochtli. The Tlaximaltepostli. The Tlaximaltepostli, also known as Tepostli, was a common weapon used by civilizations from Mesoamerica, including the Aztecs. It was formed by a wooden haft in which the pole of the bronze head was inlaid in a hole in the haft. In Aztec mythology, the Tepostli was used by the god Tepostecatl, the god of fermentation and fertility. In the Codex Borgia, he is represented with a bronze axe. This weapon was used during the Spanish conquest of the Aztec Empire in the 16th century. It was famously used by the Purepecha Empire, from which many original pieces have been discovered. A decorative version of the Tepostli was the axe monies, which were highly prized in the late post-classic. However, these objects were not war effective due to their small thickness, and also because of their brittle or soft mechanical properties.